Hey guys, this is Nate from RunDreamAchieve.com. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today's video I wanted to talk on the topic of is a six month marathon training plan sufficient for you to get greater results for the marathon distance? And I've always believed in thinking long term, especially when it comes to training for the longer marathon, the longer events. Um, it's one thing if you were training for, for a one mile or maybe a 5K race, uh, but I, even if you're training for a much shorter race, like a, a 10K or a five mile or, or 5K, 16 weeks, I always believe that a four month training plan um, is, is sufficient. Now, adding on those additional two months of training, I think would be very, very beneficial for the athlete because you can spend those eight weeks building that strong aerobic base that I talked about in that last video that I just recently made on aerobic base training. If you start first by building your base first and then building into your four month block of training, you're going to have a lot better uh, chances of success uh, for the marathon distance because again, the marathon is is a longer event. It takes more time. It takes more effort uh, to prepare well and effectively for the marathon distance. Um, so it really, the difference between six months and four months, the longer the better. It's just a matter of how you're setting up your training, which is, is really going to dictate your success uh, for the marathon distance itself. I, over the years, um, I, I would always spend be, between four weeks to eight weeks running just easy base mileage first and foremost. I wasn't concerned about uh, how fast I was running or how many miles or kilometers a week I was running uh, during the aerobic base phase because when I zeroed in on that four four month block of training um, I had already laid that strong foundation of easy you know aerobic base uh, mileage before I started into my my marathon training and the key thing you want to keep in mind too with the marathon distance is you guys already know and gals know um, it, it's really important that you don't rush the process. Um, it's very easy to want results quickly and to get in great shape quickly, uh, but th that's just not how it works in uh, track and field or road racing or marathon preparation. Uh, it's very easy to start second guessing yourself when you're you're not very fit, but you really want to be hitting those mile splits or those track times or uh, or or going out on the roads and competing and running specific times. And when you don't hit the times that you're wanting um, early on, it's very easy to uh, start to doubt yourself and uh, to second guess your your capability. When really it's just a matter of you, you needing more time to build into that your anaerobic you know to build that anaerobic. Uh, capability where you can sustain pace for long periods of time and the marathon distance definitely is demanding um, I always talk about training below your goal marathon race pace uh, coupled with the, the the importance of jogging on those recovery days because you it's not just about doing the hard anaerobic workouts it's it's about what you're doing when you're off the track uh, when you're not training on the roads you're not doing those farlic runs uh, or, or your tempo runs, it's after the training's completed, what are you doing during those off hours, um, which, which is really going to dictate how successful your marathon preparation is because the greatest benefits of all the hard anaerobic workouts you're doing on top of all the long runs and the easy runs you're doing is the rest period. Um, I, I always mention in, in other videos too that um, you, you need to research and Google the word super compensation. A lot of athletes uh, obviously know how to train hard. Uh, we know how to get on the track. We know how to get on the roads and, and put in the, the high miles and, and the fast miles. But at the same time, it's, uh, it, it's very difficult for us because we're already highly motivated, disciplined, driven individuals to back off on the easy days when really it counts the most because you want to get the best uh, bang for your buck and the highest return on your investment when it comes to uh, preparing for your marathon. I do believe six months though for training for a marathon is definitely sufficient as long as you set up your training correctly. Again, you want to spend two months just running easy, relaxed, just don't even focus on how fast you're running. And most, if it was me, I wouldn't even be worrying about even wearing a watch during those those first two months. If you know the distance of your course, um, and, and, and really that's all you really need to be focusing on. It's time on your feet, it's putting in the miles, that way you've, you've built a very, very strong 
foundation of easy base mileage before you move into a 16 week or a four month block of training. Uh, that's usually the way I would set up my own marathon training over the years. Like I said, it's, it's about how you are setting up your training because you don't want to get too fit too soon. And so you want to build those, those first eight weeks of easy base mileage and then start focusing in on a 16 week, four month block of training. Now, all of my training programs on Run Dream Achieve as well as the running courses are all four months in length. So I do believe a six month uh, marathon training plan can definitely uh, get you better results than say like a four to eight week marathon training plan because again, you're thinking long term, you're not rushing the process, you're allowing your time, your body time to adapt to the stresses that you're throwing at it. And you're again, it, you're not rushing the process. There's no way to uh, speed up fitness when it comes to marathon training. You wanna make sure that you're doing the proper amount of uh, hard training coupled with jogging on a recovery day so that you make sure that you're recovering from those hard anaerobic training uh, sessions and that you're setting up your training correctly. Again, a proper plan will yield greater results. Again, it's not about working harder, it's about working smarter. And that is the overall goal with RunDreamAchieve.com. It's what I teach in all of these videos that I'm making as well. Uh, I want you guys to use leverage. There are so many people that have been taught to work hard that are having issues in this country. And this isn't just in athletics, but in a lot of other areas. We haven't been taught so much how to use leverage, how to work smarter so we can get better results by doing less. And really that's what leverage is. It just simply means doing more with less. Whereas as athletes, um, in terms of the marathon distance, you want to use leverage. You want to just get, you don't want to get, uh, you get better results not by running higher mileage. Uh, you, you can get much better results running much lower mileage, but setting up your training accurately so you're running efficiently and that you're, and so that your body also is recovering from the hard workouts that you're doing. So if this is, um, if you guys have any questions or concerns, anything else I can help you out with in regards to preparing for the marathon, uh, definitely leave me a comment below this video. Uh, I'll also leave res resources below this video as well um, that you can check out and that I think will definitely assist you in, in your preparation for the marathon. And again, I do believe a, a six month marathon training plan will definitely set you up for success. Um, and I, in terms of preparing for your marathon with Run Dream Achieve, you can run those first eight weeks easy and then get into one of our training programs, which are 16 weeks or four months in length so that you can transition from your easy base mileage into our training programs. So have a great week of training. Uh, I'll talk to you guys all in the next video. I look forward to hearing from, your, from you with your comments and uh, any questions or concerns. Like I said, feel free to leave me a comment and I'll reach out to you guys. Have a great week and I'll talk to you next time.